Today I'm going to review what we're seeing in the industry, how multiple programs are changing the way we compile project deliveries, and how Autodesk has made all of them compatible inside of the building design suite and what exactly is included in that package. I'll also review what's new in Revit 2015. We're seeing a lot of customer requests including graphic styles and visual presentation as well as parameters based excuse me, parameter based changes that allow you to have a lot more control over the model. In the architecture industry, we are seeing various programs being utilized from conception through construction all the way to operations. We see firm using loose 2D programs in the early conceptual stages, recap for the existing conditions, moving right into Revit to start to build cohesive construction documents, and many other programs along the way to help with visualization and construction. Autodesk has made it very easy for us to switch from program to program, making their file types compatible. We are also seeing that mobile adaptations have been made in order to make it much easier to coordinate on-site and also minimize paper. The Building Design Suite is a portfolio of interoperable 3D building design software that supports BIM and CAD-based workflows. Autodesk and Revit are included, as well as recap for existing conditions, showcase and 3ds Max for visualization purposes, Navis works for construction, as well as other programs that allow you to take more informed design and construction decisions. Revit is a program that we can utilize throughout the entire life cycle of the project, from early conception to construction and beyond. We can create masses, generate a topo surface using our civil 3D files, collect information from different types of analysis, as well as schedules and cost takeoffs. It has the ability to generate wonderful photorealistic renderings as well as walkthroughs and many other visualization techniques, some of which we will touch on today. In addition to creating our construction documents, we also generate an information-rich model which can be used during construction as well as post-construction for facilities management and operations. Throughout the process, we also have the ability to coordinate through work sharing, linking, and monitoring capabilities, as well as live updates from schedules, sheets, drawings, and so on. Excuse me. A relatively new program, Autodesk Recap, allows you to generate a 3D model called a point cloud from laser scans or photographs to allow you to start the design with accurate dimensions and full quality context. The Boy Cloud is able to be cleaned up and manipulated inside of Recap for use in Revit, InfraWorks, and Navisworks. It will now, I will now open Recap so that you can get a glimpse of exactly how accurate the software can be with the ability to capture the smallest of details. This specifically was created using laser scans, however a similar point cloud could be created using photographs. With context-based design, InfraWorks allows us to better understand the site and surroundings and how our building will fit into the context of the environment. Showcase allows you to streamline the review process with interactive design exploration using suite workflows right from your Revit model. You can create shots and storyboards which allow you to better communicate design alternatives. I have exported a video right from Showcase, so you can see what a powerful presentation technique this would be while at a client meeting to demonstrate any changes or alternatives or simply for visual quality alone. So, what's new in Revit 2015? There are quite a few graphic styles that are new, one being the ability to show all hidden lines to better understand the geometry and construction of the building. We also have been given the ability to view our model in a sketchy context. This is definitely something that when I was in production people wanted to see. It was much easier for the client to view a design as free-flowing and conceptual with sketchy lines rather than set in stone with hard lines like we are used to seeing. I will now bring you into Revit so that you can see how simple this process is. Simply by going into the graphic styles, I can turn on or off the sketchy lines, I'll turn them off here or turn them back on. Very simply by just going into our graphic style options, enabling sketchy lines, and hitting OK.
Something we've also seen demand for is the ability to pin our elements. We now have the ability to prevent them from being deleted and something that you know definitely will benefit us as, a, as an industry. We now have the ability to link our IFC models, a platform neutral file, which works as a bridge and allows us to link in native file types. By linking the IFC file, we may reload or replace them, similar to a CAD or Revit link. There are also many other features that allow us to have greater control over our model and its visibility. The ability to have control over the organization of our parameters, more flexibility with filters, and sorting and grouping. You can now delete revisions, use standard draw tools to sketch the revision cloud shape, and specify minimum arc length for revision clouds. This was a top customer request. There is now an image parameter, which allows you to improve schedule documentation with images and enhance views to better communicate the contractor and other consultants, as well as the client, as to what exactly is being specified. So the bottom line is that Revit 2015 gives us more control over the parameters and individual elements in order to have a much more cohesive model, as well as, a, as, well as more flexibility with the graphic display options. A quick overview of what we've touched on today. Various programs and technology are being used throughout the project lifecycle. The building design suite gives you the ability to work seamlessly to create deliverables. How Revit can be utilized throughout the entire project scope. Recap has re revolutionized the way we work with existing building conditions. And how Showcase can better help communicate the project with interactive design exploration.